Welcome back everyone, Patrick here. And in this next video, what we have to do is draw a polynomial given these five characteristics over here. So it has to be a fourth degree. It has to have a negative leading coefficient. It has to have three zeros with one of them being at x equals negative three. There has to be three turning points and the function is greater than zero or it's positive when x is between three and five. So with these kinds of questions, there's no specific way to go about it. It really depends on the characteristics that are given. Personally, what I like to start with is any points that are given. And notice that in this case, we are given a point over here. So notice we're told that there's three zeros and one of them is for sure gonna be at x equals negative three, which means that's gonna be an x-intercept, which would be over here. And really that's the only point that we have to work with. So after I plot any points that have to be on the graph for sure, then I go through the characteristics. So notice that number one, we're told it's a fourth degree and then number two, we're told it's a leading coefficient. Now, if a polynomial has a fourth degree and it has a negative leading coefficient, then we know the end behaviors. We know that it starts over here and then ultimately it's gonna end over here, right? If it had a positive leading coefficient and a fourth degree or an even degree, then it would start here and end here but it's an even degree, negative leading coefficient, so this is how it's gonna end up. Now we're told there are three zeros. We know one of them is gonna be at negative three. There's gonna be three turning points. And then notice number five, we're told that the function is greater than zero when x is between three and five. So I'm actually gonna work with this one over here. And usually when you're given something like this, saying when the function is positive, well, usually these points are gonna be x-intercepts because if you think about it, if the function's gonna be positive above these or um, in between these x values, it means it's above the x-axis, right? All the y values are positive. This here means positive y values or above the x-axis. That's another way this could have been worded, right? So it could have said f of x has positive y values when x is uh, between three and five. It could have said f of x is above the x-axis when x is between three and five, different ways it could be worded. But it means that basically it has to be like that. Right, if this is a polynomial that we are working with, between three and five, it has to be above that. There's no real other way to show it. Now, we can have maybe multiple turning points. Right, we can maybe have something like that. But notice that we have a maximum of turning points that we can have. We can only have three turning points in this. And then notice that one, two, three, that would be three turning points. How are we gonna incorporate this negative three? Because it's gonna come down and then we have to come back to this negative three. So there's gonna be another turning point somewhere here. Okay, so we know that that won't happen. There's just gonna be one turning point in this case. And then it's gonna keep going down. And so notice that so far what we have, notice we have three zeros which is one of the characteristics, right? And one of them being at negative three. So the question is, how can we complete this graph? Well, we know it's gonna go down. It's gonna come back up at some point. And then what has to happen at this negative three? Notice that it can't go through the negative three because it has to have this end behavior. And so it would have to have another x-intercept, but then that would break this characteristic, right? Then there would be four x-intercepts that we have. So what it has to do at negative three, it actually has to bounce off of it, right? So it's gonna have 
an even order. Actually, it's just going to have an order of two because it's a fourth degree. Right? And that's how the graph's going to look. And notice that the three turning points, one, two, three. Right? So it um, passes that characteristic as well. So you want to go through all the characteristics once you have your final drawing. Is it a fourth degree? Yes, it is. Negative leading coefficient? Yes, because the end behaviors. It has three zeros. One of them is at negative three. There's three turning points. And the function is positive when x is between three and five, right? Meaning that the y values here are positive.